Welcome to the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week. We're broadcasting live from Ball High School, the studio of dreams. We had the opportunity to sit down with James Lacombe from the Galveston County Daily News. He's going to share some predictions, what he thinks is going to happen. We also had a chance to go into the schools, and we, we talked to some of the people from Student Council. We also had the opportunity to talk to players and coaches. Stay tuned to the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week pre-show. Falling in, I said I like late night bonfires, Yellowstone, whiskey Myers, and lift the trucks with mud on the tires, and I'm back. I see your boy. Go, D, let's go. Busting your tail doing. Coming this fall, the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week on ClearLifeMedia.com. One, two, three, five. This is Gardy with Clear Life Media. We're at the Studio of Dreams at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I'm excited because this is the Ron Carter Leak City Game of the Week taking place on clearlifemedia.com and galvnews.com. If you're watching on social media, feel free to share this out. Let us know where you're watching from and stay tuned because there's a lot of action and it's starting right now. The game tonight is between Ball High School and Lamarck High School. That's the Cougars versus the Tornadoes taking place on the Ron Carter Leak City Game of the Week. We had the opportunity to part with the Galveston County Daily News, looking through the schedule of all the games taking place across the county, and we went through and picked the best 11 games taking place, and we're bringing all the action straight to you. I'm joined by James Lacombe from the Galveston County Daily News. James, can you let us know what can we expect from the matchup that's taking place tonight? I think we can expect a very close game, just based on recent history between these two. Um, I think it'll be a both an intense game and a fun game considering you know how close these two teams these two towns are together uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there were relatives on opposite sides of the field uh, in this game and um, I'm expecting a big crowd I think a lot of people here are expecting a big crowd at Kerrville Stadium and um, just a really good old-fashioned you know, smash mouth high school football game. And um, I think it's a great way to kick off uh, the season with our broadcast uh, coming up. And um, I'm really excited about uh, this venture. I want to remind you all the ways that you can watch and tune in to the action that is the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week. You can go to clearlifemedia.com. You can go to galvnews.com every week to catch the most anticipated game across Galveston County. You can also check out the pre-show on social media. That's Facebook and that's YouTube as well. If you have that opportunity to watch, make sure you call and text a friend, share this to him, send it as a text, and let us know what you think and what your predictions are for the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week. The Ron Carter League City Game of the Week is made possible from people like you, that's local businesses, organizations, and individuals who have partnered with us at Clear Life Media to keep this absolutely free on clearlifemedia.com and galvnews.com. If you want to become a partner with us, if you support education and kids that are doing really big things right now and will do even bigger things in the future, you can send us an email at info at clearlifemedia.com. You can also send us a message on social media. That's Facebook, Instagram. Send us a DM. We'd love to talk to you. So we've had the opportunity to go and talk to some of the players, talk to the coaches from both teams, and the, the towns are so close together. But what's interesting is that the family members, the fans, even they are fired up about it, and sometimes it seems more they have more fire in them and passion towards who they think is going to win than the players do. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, bragging rights for the whole town, not just uh, the kids involved. Obviously, the players are going to be really eager to get bragging rights over their peers on, you know, whatever side of the causeway they lie. But uh, it's a big bragging rights for the alumni of these two schools uh, every year. And, um, yeah, it just adds to a lot of the pageantry and, you know, excitement behind this matchup. But it's one of the oldest rivalries in the football rivalries in the state of Texas. Yeah, it really is. And we're excited to have this on Clear Life Media and galvnews.com. So if you're watching on social media, feel free to let us know where you're watching from. Share this out and stay tuned because there's a lot of action that's still coming up. Hi, my name is Maisha. I'm with LMHS Student Council, and you're watching Game of the Week on Clear Life Media. Thank you. 
Nobody said it would be easy. We do it anyways, and we've been doing it for years. It became our mission, a mission to give back to the community. Because this, this is our community too. It's at the heart of every phone call, meeting, and sale. Here at Ron Carter League City, our community is you. Ram, Dodge, Chrysler, and Jeep. Ron Carter League City, you deserve it. To learn more and shop our inventory, visit roncarterleaguecity.com. I'm Corey Moss. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of the Valero Texas City Refinery. It's great to have some time to talk a little bit about Valero and the United Way. You know, we have six key values in Valero, one of those being caring. And it's not just caring within the team members of the Valero site and the company, but more importantly, it's about caring in the community. Valero believes in giving back to the community, and it's through the funds and the pledges of the, our employees and the matching gifts that our, our company does, we're able to support the agencies of the United Way. Learn more ways to donate to the United Way Galveston County Mainland and your impact on the community by visiting uwgcm.com. Welcome back to the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week pre-show. We're going to be learning more about Galveston and everything that takes place here at Ball High School. My name is Sheldon Benite. I'm the head coach at Galveston Ball Tornadoes, and you're watching the Game of the Week on Clear Life Media. Looking at Ball High School, what are some of the strengths? What can we expect from this team this season? All right, well, uh, for Ball, uh, their program, I feel like, is on the rise uh, after making the playoffs last season. That gave them as a whole, a lot of great momentum, I believe, as a program. And coming back from that playoff team are experienced players at quarterback, at receiver, uh, running back. So that's a really good core foundation on your offense. Uh, defensively, uh, linebacker, uh, they have experience and strength there. Uh, also in the secondary, so that's going to be key into, you know, shutting down passing game and getting after the opposing quarterback. Um, now, that said, you know, it being a rivalry game, you can kind of throw some of that out. Uh, the last two times these teams have met, it's been very low scoring. So it may be a game where defense takes over and it comes down to one or two big plays on offense. Um, but uh, so yeah, I, I believe those are the kind of the strengths of Ball High School's uh, football team coming into it. And uh, I think they're going to be ready for the matchup for sure. How important is that playoff experience for these players? I think it's really important, especially considering before last season, they didn't make the playoffs very frequently. So that's a big step in, you know, a program's progression. And I know they have a lot of high expectations this season. They have a district where, you know, they're going to be favored in. Uh, but really, first things first, and that's the Lamarck game. Uh, it's, you know, the first one of the year. Uh, you know, teams are going to still be figuring out uh, who they are, no matter, no matter how much experience they have coming back. Uh, so, you know, it'll be very interesting to see, you know, what, what they do tonight. We had the opportunity to go to one of the practices, and this is what some of the, coach, the coaches and the players had to say about this matchup taking place tonight. You know, kids are excited. One, one that it's a the start of the season. You know, that's always exciting. And uh, being, you know, being televised and being being game of the week, that's pretty new to these kids. So uh, I just try to keep that keep that under wraps, and you know, it's try to keep them focused on what we need to focus on. I mean, it's competitive. We everyone down here loves competitiveness, and this is a great way to get us fired up, and we love that. You know, it means a lot to me. You know, growing up in Galveston, most of my family graduating from Ball High, playing in the same game, it means a lot. It's always been a big rivalry. I've been to it for a while. My older brother played here in 2012, graduated in 2012, and I always knew it was a big thing to win, and a lot of people take it serious, especially the older people, so I feel like we got a big role to play. They're, they're excited about beating one another. That's the main thing. You know, I don't think any, any kind of titles put the pressure on you. You know, it's just, uh, there's naturally there's going to be pressure in each community to beat to beat your uh, local rival. So that in itself is enough pressure. You know we don't we don't talk about any clash of the causeway or any titles. We just we want to make sure our kids have the opportunity to focus on themselves and focus on the game. Everybody everybody has great potential. I feel like if we do everything right, everybody have a chance to be great. First of all, we can't 
we can't let can't beat ourselves. You know, we've got to take care of the football, we've got to tackle, you know, limit our mistakes, limit the penalties, and I think that's for us is our first key. You know, as long as we're playing hard, um, doing everything we can do as far as eliminating mistakes, we're gonna we're gonna have a successful night. Just gonna you know execute. We've been we've been working hard this whole summer, just grinding every day, just being here. And um, I just think we're going to have a great time this Friday. Just have fun out there. I'm Seth Williams, and I'm QB1, and you're watching Game of the Week on Clear Live Media. One of the things taking place tonight between the athletic department and the school district is the honoring of Central High School with Central Night. Okay, so this Friday night, starting at 7 p.m., um, Galveston Independent School District is hosting for the very first time in district history an um, event called Central Night. As it's titled Central Night, it is dedicated to what used to be Central High School within GISD. This is the building that we're standing in. Um, this building ex existed as Central High School before it was consolidated with what is now Ball High School in 1968. Central High School was the first public school, uh, first public Texas high school for African Americans. So it is very dear to the district heart and what this event is um, it's something that leadership wanted to create to honor alumni from Central High School so this is an event that's been a long time in the making it's been um, a long time coming and um, I know district leadership is very excited to honor alumni that attended Central High School and um, this means a lot to a lot of people so we're gonna play Lamarck it's the first home football game of the season. Central Night will occur annually. We want to do this every single year at the first home game um, for GISD. So the football players, the varsity team, instead of wearing their normal gold and purple, they're going to honor the Central High School Bearcats by instead wearing blue and white, just like they used to do. Just what that school and those students meant for unifying even the education system and working toward more unity within the education system is huge and so to honor the alumni is very important we hope everybody comes out to support i have the opportunity to sit down with one of the students here at ball high i'm gonna let you introduce yourself then share what you have going on here today um i'm matthew glenn as you can see i'm i'm a senior at ball high um i play football i'm in the media crew um and it's, it's great to be here it's really great to be here yeah y'all have a really cool studio you'll have a really good teacher there's a lot of cool equipment here what does that mean for you are you excited to be able to work with this stuff every day um yes actually i i record all the good morning ball highs and i'm actually starring for the um the sports and it, i love it like i get to be on camera i get to talk to people i get the you know get the full experience awesome so if somebody wants to learn more about the program here, how they can get involved, is there a way for them to do that? Yes, sir. So look, this is what you do. You come in, um, talk to Mr. Dudas, that's our teacher, the media teacher, and he'll show you, he go all through the through the motions of everything, and by the end of the day, you're going to love it. You're going to want to be here. Like, it's all love, joy in it. I got one final question. So ball high versus Lamarck, what do you see the outcome of that game, and can I get a score prediction? Um, I don't want to sound one uh, one sided, but <laughs> I think we're going to thrash them. But it's going it's all competition, and we stay humble. Awesome, I love it. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Hello, this is Corey Moss with Valero. Welcome to Game of the Week on Clear Life Media. We're broadcasting live from Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. Have the opportunity to speak with one of the students right now. We're going to find out everything that he has going on. Can you introduce yourself and let us know what you have going on here? All right, so I am Banks Goodmanson. I am a head anchor here for Good Morning Ball High. I do the announcements every morning. I help film. Sometimes we do podcasts. We do everything all around the kind of media area. Love the program around here. What drew you into wanting to learn about this kind of stuff? So actually, uh, it's kind of a funny story. Leading into eighth grade, getting our schedules and everything, I had to just circle a random class. I ended up circling, circling audiovisual, and I just kind of ended up getting here. It was a great experience leading up to everything to get me to the head position as a head anchor. You know, is there something that you want to pursue after after high school? Is this something that you that you want to do, or what is it that you want to do after school? So after school, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards like a Foley artist or actually continuing this head anchor, like maybe going on the news or just kind of leading that anchor area and like just continuing it as an actual media program. You know, when you hear audiovisual, 
it's easy to think of something. I think of like a little soundboard. But then when you walk into this studio that y'all have here at, at Ball High School, y'all have everything. This is really nice, right? Yeah, we have a lot. So whenever I circled audiovisual, I'm like, oh, it's just going to be like a music board or something. You're just kind of, you're going to run with a DJ booth or something. But it ended up being podcasts and recording videos and taking pictures for like green screen rooms and everything. It was just it was amazing just to walk into this program and just see everything much larger than what you thought it was. You know, this football game, it's its really big. The Battle of the Causeway, the Ron Carter League City game of the week, right? What prediction do you have for the game that's, that's taking place tonight? So, honestly, I have a thought that it's going to be a close game, kind of like Luke before. I think it's going to be like a 21-14 around there based on the previous games and the practice I've watched between both teams. But you have, you have ball high winning? I have ball high winning. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Thank you. Stay tuned to the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week pre-show. We sat down with the band director for Lamarck High School Cougar Band, and they had the opportunity last night to go and play in front of the Houston Texans crowd. We asked them, what does this mean to you? What does it mean to the students? What does it mean for the program? Stay tuned. We're going to cross that causeway and go over there and steal the crowd, and we're going to win the game, and we're going to put on quite a show that night, too. My name is Kevin Black. I'm the director of bands here at the Lamarck High School. You're going to be watching the game of the week on Clear Life Media. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anna Dellinger, and this is Heather Laurie and my little sister Michelle West. And we're at Legacy Collision. We are an all service automotive collision center here to service anybody who has a little fender bender all the way up to a major accident. We work with all major insurance companies, all female run. You can reach us at 409-440-8900 on our website, LegacyCollisionTX.com or on social media, Facebook and Instagram. We are continuing a legacy, creating a legacy and leaving a legacy here at Legacy Collision. Book your next event, wedding, quince, or party at the Elegant Water Grove event venue off Interstate 45 in Dickinson, Texas. Overlooking the Dickinson Bayou, there is space for every event. From the large ballroom to the game room, there's plenty of fun activities for your guests. Visit thewatergrove.com to learn how Water Grove is the destination for you. Welcome back to the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week pre-show. We're excited for the clash of the causeway between Ball High and Lamarck High School. This is a historic night. These teams have a very, very storied rivalry, and they also have very storied programs as well. Stay tuned. We're going to talk to James Lacombe with the Galveston County Daily News to get his thoughts on everything that's taking place tonight. This is Coach O from Lamarck High School, the Lamarck Cougars, and this is the Game of the Week on Clear Life Media. Taking a look at the Lamarck Cougars, what can we expect from this football team? Lamarck, I feel like, is as a program in a different position than Ball High. They are, they've made the playoffs for several years in a row, but haven't got to, gotten much further than that. And when you talk about Lamarck, they are a storied program when it comes to the state of Texas. In the 1990s and early aughts, you know, they won multiple state championships, and they're not at that position in their program right now it's something they want to build toward and get back there at some point and uh, I think that is reflected in their new coaching hire with uh, Wade Oliphant um, he is a, a Lamarck alumnus uh, from those 1990s teams that won state championships uh, so this game for Lamarck I think there's a lot of pride on the line for them you know from the head coach on down to the players to the community um, you know, uh, they used to say back in the day at Lamarck that, you know, they're going to be leaving the island smiling whenever they come down here. And I think that is Coach O's goal uh, in this one is to find a way to win, get a season off on the right track, you know, with him being his first game as a head coach. And, um, you know, they have some good core players coming back, too, from last season, uh, but uh, a lot of inexperienced faces. So, it will be interesting to see kind of who they are under this new coaching regime and maybe some of the new faces who will step up and, you know, kind of make a name for themselves in this game. You mentioned Coach O being a part of those, those teams. How important is it 
him having that culture of winning in championships. I mean, back then it was like, we're going to state, we're going to win the championship. That was the expectation. How important is it having him kind of rebuild that into the expectations? I think that's big because he can go up to those players and say, hey, you know, I was once you and we were once this and I believe we can get back there and I know how to get back there. I experienced it. I know what it takes to build these winning programs. Uh, so I think he has kind of instantly earned a lot of credibility with his players. And, uh, you know, it may not happen overnight for them, obviously, but, um, you know, uh, I think him being an alumnus from those glory days certainly is a big deal for them. And we had the opportunity to go to one of the practices, talk to the players, and Coach O, this is what they had to say. Hey, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to find a way to highlight something good about y'all every day. Class of the Causeway is definitely a historic, it's a big event. It's like a movie to me. Um, I'm glad that me and the team, we get to take part in this movie this year. Um, but it definitely means, as much as all the coaches here, it means the same thing to me, really. I get to, till I'm 100 years old, I get to say we beat ball high in 2022 so that means everything I get if I get to come home and say we be ball high I can say that for the rest of my life that mean the world to me I mean at the end of the day it's for the kids it's for the it's for the crowd it's for the community it, you know for us we just play Lamar football we understand this game of a week there's some eyes on us I mean it's week one you know so everybody is definitely sharp we've been putting in some extra conditioning but week one definitely we've been going real hard We've been having some really good practices, for sure. Well, my goal here is to have the best time as I can out here with my teammates as my last year as senior. You feel me? So I can do one last thing with the bros. So it's execution, because everything is new. Every, every, all of our scheme, our XSOs, it's new to them. You know, a lot of it is just generic football, but at the same time, it's our game plan. It's, thing, it's different terminology, different verbiage. So I, I, I speak on the present and moving forward on the future. My biggest thing is us coming together as, unit, as a coaching staff, as a football team, as a football family, as a school, and as a community. I focus on team. No one's above the team, no one individual. Tell all the, the kids all the time, it's not about me, it's about us. So at the end of the day, we just want to come together as a team, as a family, and try to be successful in our first game of the season. I'm Darrell Williams, QB1, and you're watching the Game of the Week, Clear Life Media. Lamarck High School Band, Cheer, and Dance Departments have the opportunity to perform at the Houston Texans game at NRG Stadium. We sat down with these departments to find out what this opportunity means to them and what the future may hold. Thursday night, uh, the band has a really big opportunity in front of us. It's going to be the band, the dance, and the cheer. Uh, we're going to be performing for the Houston, Texas versus the 49ers. I was sitting in professional development and I got an email notification. Somebody from the Texans organization had seen us perform last year. So we plan on uh, putting a little Texas spirit into the atmosphere. We're going to go out there, pump up the crowd, cheer for the home team. We've got a few surprises we can't tell everybody, but we're going to put on quite a show. I've been in band and playing flute since about third grade. Of course I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous, but I know that it's going to be great either way. It's going to make memories, that's the most important part. That's what we want for band. We make a bunch of memories, we enjoy ourselves. It's great. I've been dancing since I was five years old, but for the Cougarettes, I've been dancing since ninth grade. I was really shocked because it's like lately we've been just getting like, you know, visits from like certain places, so just getting Invited to like the Houston Texans game, that was really shocked for me. To perform in front of a crowd of 70,000 plus, yes, it's going to be the biggest opportunity that the band has had thus far. You know, some schools probably don't um, get this usually, so I just want to have fun with my team. I'm just really excited, and I'm just blessed to be doing something like this. It's been kind of humbling um, for somebody to reach out to us and think enough of us to perform for such an organization. It's extremely exciting. We've had lots of phone calls from alumni, community members, and friends. One of the fun things that we get to do with the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week is go into the high schools, talk to the students, and find out why they enjoy giving back to the community. Well, we're decorating the windows right now, and we're just putting like pride everywhere, asking the teachers if they want you know, um, stuff on their windows, and just going around and telling people about different things that are going to be going on. 
So the Lamarck High School Student Council is the council that's here to um, help the community. That's the first thing that I, I teach my students. And the second thing is we're here to teach leadership skills. I see Lamarck Student Council becoming a safe place for all students, whether even if they aren't in Student Council, they see Student Council as like a big, almost like an older sibling that you look up to. Yeah, we just are basically the voice of our school. We're like the front and the face, you know, Cougar Pride. Because I want them to understand that once they graduate and leave from here, community is everything and community is very important. And it's always important to give back to those who are, le who are less fortunate. Food banks, um, backpack drives, school supply drives. Well, it's important to not only want change, but be about the change that you want. I want the community to know that there are students who, um, who care about the community and they do care about the welfare of the school. And that's one of the uh, driving forces as to how some of the students are picked in student council. They see the change and they want to move forward and make that change. Show the Cougar pride, the Cougar spirit, and understand that we are creating leaders. Uh, thank you to all of those who support the Lamarck Student Council. We really appreciate your help. Thank you for watching the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week pre-show. Without people like you, without businesses like yours, we wouldn't be able to make this possible. If you want to partner with us and become a sponsor, you can reach out at info at clearlifemedia.com. And remember, it's completely free to watch on galvnews.com and clearlifemedia.com. What's up, Cougs? I'm Britt Bell, and you're tuned in to the Game of the Week right here on Clear Life Media. I'm Leonard Woolsey, publisher of The Daily News in Galveston Island, Texas. Now, the Daily News is the oldest newspaper in the state of Texas, older than the state itself. Since 1842, we've been delivering local journalism to people in this community. The Daily News is for everyone, but not everything in The Daily News is for everyone. The idea is we provide you content for today, help you look at tomorrow, and also all the content that's been generated in the history of Galveston County. Let's budget. I like to think that this is an important part of what we do here in Galveston County as well as here on Galveston Island. Inside A, the Texas Department of Health. The stories we tell are important. They're about people's lives. They impact people's lives day in and day out. We know every day when we produce news, the news that we put out there matters to our community. But we are also providing news to our community about how to take care of them and their loved ones. Pick up a daily news or go to galvnews.com today. The Galveston County Daily News news you can trust, and stories you can rely on. Welcome back to the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week. What is the Game of the Week, you may ask? We sat down with James Lacombe from the Galveston County Daily News, looked through the schedule of all the games taking place across Galveston County. We picked the best game, and we're bringing it to you absolutely for free. If you'd like to partner with us, become a sponsor, you can reach out at info at clearlifemedia.com. I'd also like to thank you, and everybody else who has sponsored or shared in, in any way, if you supported us in this broadcast, we appreciate you. Hi, I'm Mike Dudas, the media arts coach here at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, and you are watching the Game of the Week on Clear Life Media. We had the opportunity to look at Ball High School, the Tornadoes, and Lamarck High School, the Cougars. We want to get some final thoughts, some maybe a prediction, or how, are you, how do you see this game going? I mean, just based on the recent history, uh, I think it could very well be a defensive struggle type of game. Uh, in 2021, Lamarck won at 6-0. Uh, they didn't play in 2020 because of staggered schedules because of COVID. And then in 2019, Ball High won 7-0. So that's the recent history. Uh, I do believe that at this point, Ball High offensively uh, is probably in a better place than they were in those past teams considering all the returning talent they have Lamarck they're obviously going to be fired up for this game you know coach's first game as head coach there coming back to his alma mater um, he's going to have the kids fired up I think both sides will be fired up it's going to be it's going to be a great clash of the causeway I think if you want to score prediction I think so. So just a reminder, we're broadcasting live from Ball High School, the studio of dreams. KTOR, it's historic, right? There's a lot of really cool things that happen here. Galveston ISD, 
has some cool things. We're in Galveston broadcasting. Who do you see winning this game? Well, I mean, they got the home field advantage. Uh, they have the experience advantage. They're coming off a nice season from last year. I like ball high to win, probably by maybe just a touchdown. I'll say uh, 21-14. You heard it here from James with the Galveston County Daily News first. We're minutes away from the Ron Carter League City Game of the Week. I want to hear from you. I want to know what your predictions are, what the score is going to be between Ball High and Lamarck High School tonight. I want to thank Mike Dudas for letting us use the Studio of Dreams, and I'm going to take this time to kick it off to Todd Moore and Angie Craig. Stay tuned. Go to clearlifemedia.com and galvnews.com.